The Hawaiian archipelago, one of the longest and most remote island chains in the world, lies in the middle of the North Pacific subtropical gyre. A known marine debris hotspot within the gyre, called a convergence zone, concentrates marine debris and carries it to the island chain. Each year, tons of marine debris wash ashore and snag on reefs across the island chain. In Hawaii, as well as other parts of the world, marine debris presents a serious threat to marine ecosystems, wildlife such as the endangered Hawaiian monk seal, and is a hazard to safe navigation. Over the years, the effects of marine debris on our environment and resources have moved people to help do something about it. Across the state and beyond, individuals, agencies, businesses, and groups of all kinds have partnered to clean up, educate, and reach out for solutions. One unique project to emerge from these partnerships is Hawaii's Nets to Energy program. Some of Hawaii's most damaging marine debris is derelict fishing nets. Many tons of these nets are removed from Hawaii's reefs and shores each year. To avoid adding these nets to already overflowing landfills, Hawaii's marine debris partners use derelict nets to create usable electricity. Nets are transported to the facility of Schnitzer Steel Hawaii Corporation, where they are chopped into small pieces suitable for incineration at the city and county of Honolulu's H-Power Waste to Energy Facility, run by Covanta Energy. This Nets to Energy program is possible only through the cooperation and support of Hawaii's marine debris partners. Today, all NOAA-funded marine debris removal projects in Hawaii incorporate this waste to energy conversion.